fellow Toastmasters and guests. When I think back about the scariest life experiences, I usually flash back to my first time in a cinema where we sat in the front row and I saw the trailer for the movie Jaws, which explains my trepidation, lifelong trepidation for sharks, and does not explain my career choice. <laughs> There are those who will tell you that change is scary, but I would reply that fear that we fear the unknown, but if change is your norm, then it's not scary at all and it loses its fear factor. I was born in Malta, which is an island in the Mediterranean, and my mom is Maltese, my dad is originally from Minnesota. I have an older brother who was born in Texas. My very first passport photo was taken when I was three weeks old and we moved to Greece shortly thereafter. We stayed in Greece for three years, and I have a sister and a brother born in Greece. When I was three years old, my parents moved to India for seven years as missionaries. They're non-denominational Christians. And while we were there, I had two more younger sisters born and another younger brother. And you've probably lost count by now. <laughs> we moved to Rome, Italy, and then to Naples in 1990, which coincided with the World Cup, which was held in Italy at the time, which was a very uh, interesting experience for someone coming from India to a Western country, experiencing all that at the same time. And I have a younger brother. We stayed in Naples for one year, and I have a younger brother born there. After a year, we moved to Greece for three more years. And I have two more sisters born there. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Makes my speech much easier. Uh, when I was 14, we moved to Palermo in Sicily. And we stayed there for a year. And I have no brothers or sisters <laughs> aside from the norm. When I was 15, I left home and I moved to Torino. I stayed there for a while and then moved to uh, town in between Bergamo and Milano in the north of Italy. When I was almost 16, my parents let me know in a phone call that they would be moving to America. And I knew that if I moved back in with them, I would be getting a free flight to the land of the free. So I moved back in with them. They were in Rome at the time, and we spent an awesome uh, summer in Rome before flying right before Halloween uh, to Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I, we moved to Cincinnati when I was 16, and my youngest brother was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, one day I was out buying groceries for our family dinner. We had a weekly dinner every weekend, and I was generally the cook for that dinner. And as I was speaking to the lady at the checkout in the local super center, whatever it was, like Kmart or something, she said, uh, you, you, can't, you can't buy wine. And I said, lady, what are you talking about? This is the land of the free. <laughs> you don't want my money? I'll give my money to someone else. When I went back to home that day, I tried to explain to my dad that I was not kidding, but a lady had stopped me from buying the family bottle of wine for dinner. And he said, oh, right, I forgot to mention that. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Uh, I left for Europe again three months later. <laughs> um, I went to a youth camp in Lithuania, and I stayed there for approximately a year. Um, we stayed at a campground. Two weeks after I arrived, there was a beer festival, and beer in Lithuania cost 10 cents. So. Drinking lost its appeal very quickly when it was legal, and I realized that to do anything with my life, I would need to probably move back to the U.S. So I came back and moved back to Cincinnati. When I was almost 18, I decided to get serious, so I moved with family to Del Rio in Texas. Unemployment was 10%, so I couldn't get a job because I did not, as you can tell probably, have any schooling whatsoever. So I, the career counselor at the high school said that uh, my choices were to start ninth grade, to 
try to start community college, which I would have to pay for if I didn't have a job, or to join the military. So I signed up to be an electronics technician in the Navy, and I went to boot camp in October of 1997. In that, that December, I went back to Lithuania, then came back and did one year in Chicago, studying to be an electronics technician. After I graduated, I came in on a freezing cold morning in January and asked the lady who gave us orders where I, sh where I would be going, and she said, how does Pensacola and San Diego sound for th two years? And I said, great. <laughs> um, I went to... Following San Diego, I went to Japan for five years. I was selected as an officer while I was there. And while I was in Japan, my youngest sister was born in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa. <laughs> I know her name. <laughs> I, I was selected for officer when I was in Japan, and I chose uh, in no, for no particular reason at all, to go to the University of Washington in Seattle. After Washington, I went to Nyack, Texas, and it was while deployed from there on USS Nimitz that I met my wife, Yasmin. Hi. <laughs> she worked in San Francisco, so as you can imagine, we were both very happy when I received orders to Monterey. I hope to earn a master's degree a Master of Science here in Cyber Systems and Operations. I'm the president of the NPS Cycling Club, and next week I'll celebrate my 15th anniversary in the Navy. Um, I have divided my life between three continents, North America, Europe, and Asia. Everywhere I've gone, people have asked me, where is Malta? On the Kitty Hawk, one of my buddies asked me, what are people from Malta called? Maltesians? <laughs> I have spent a lot of time in Asia. <laughs> we had a family wedding reception in Malta this September for us. And yes, when I posted pictures on Facebook, more than one friend asked, Malta, what state is that? <laughs> Thank you.